Hey, I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff, a show in which you try stuff for the first time. And today we are going to try to learn how to read palms. We had a little palmistry thing. Before we get started on today's episode, a quick but very hearty thank you to Mike Chang for sending us this amazing palmistry kit to get us started today. If you want to help support the show, he used our Amazon wish list to send us this. There's a link below to that, and there's all kinds of fun goodies in there. I can point to it. I I tried to look stuff up, but not like dive too deep because I wanted to like learn this as we went. But I have, right now on my computer, I have eight open windows for us to reference for palm reading, and I don't know how this is gonna go. We maybe, we don't have the touch. This may not work out. I have lines. The, Let's see if you can read them, but you're dyslexic, <laughs> so I don't know if you can. Let's get started. Dive in. It came with this little booklet as well. Mm -hmm. A short guide to character analysis and prognost... I wait, prognost... No, prog, prognostication. I think that's how you say that word. That's a word. By means of the reading of palms, when studying the hands, the information to be gleaned can be divided into two categories. The event markings uh, derived from the placement quality and conjunction of the lines on the hand. So when preparing a reading, the following factors should be considered. The quality of the lines and the points they're crossing, referring to the position of the marks to the age table to determine when the very various events might occur. Okay, ooh, in here there's a, okay, awesome. The last one is the general demeanor of the person and the hand. <laughs> I don't so want to read your hand anymore. Yeah. <laughs> We're probably going to fast forward through some of this, okay? Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm already, I already feel like that meme where there's all the, the, the formulas around your head. Like, <laughs> half of what you just said I did not intake. Yeah, well, there's, that's page one. Right, we're gonna do the lifeline first since that's okay. the first one on here. Then you want my right hand. Your right hand, yes. Okay. This indicates the quality of life and the major changes, of course. Lifespan is calculated by the length of the line with reference to the age tables. Looks pretty solid. I mean, it looks long. That's pretty and long, and yeah. Intense. And look, it's just trailing off there. Just, yeah. I mean, it, well, it kind of splits. Well, you have a long lifeline, that's okay. for sure, and it's not broken. And you evidently had a second life right here. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> There's a little bonus life. That's a long life. Like it's life. going all the way around my, my yeah. hand. Well, it gets weak, so like maybe I mean, when so I'm you older, end up in a, it's a little more stressful. <laughs> and it's, I mean, you might be on a feeding tube. <laughs> <laughs> That's my comatose state but, right I mean, there. But you're old at that point. But so I, I made it. You you don't even remember, you won't know it. You won't okay, even, you're okay, I won't even know. All right, yeah. all right. But it looks pretty solid. Okay. Oh, oh, each oh. table. So this is, 20, we, let's, we'll find where you are on here. You're about right here. Yeah, Whoa. it looks, it looks, it's pretty, oh, so look, okay, okay, okay. It gets thicker after here. The things are gonna go, things are all uphill from here. Oh. Like, see, like, this is 40. And yeah, and then after 70, you're just not supposed to, there's a break, there's like a little split off, it, it could go either way after 70. So that's, look at all these little lines that come off of oh. it. Look at all these successes. That's what I'm saying they are. <laughs> okay, hmm. I think that's all I can, all I can glean. Glean from that? Okay. So I'm you're gonna write down, write lifeline? Lifeline. Strong. Strong. And I think that you from 40 until 70 are gonna be golden. And then somewhere awesome. around like 60, you're gonna like have some major success. All right. So lifeline. <sighs> okay, <laughs> okay, here we go. This is like not as dark or as deep as mine. Look at all my little lines. I'm gonna be successful right there. Yeah. It looks like, yeah, you got that this line. That's a good see, one. See, do you see this other like little tiny line that's really faint, like running right next to your line? The, the second line was meant you were daring. Risk oh. taker, risk taker. Oh, that makes sense. You, so like. Am I a risk takey? You're not, well you are now. Don't think to... about it. <laughs> think about the last, like, so we started doing this stuff, this mm -hmm. show, in our 30s, and mm -hmm. now we're headed into the 40s. They don't need to know that we're in our 30s. <laughs> in our 20s. And, and and you're doing more risky and daring things. Mm -hmm. So like, that's all right there. So that's your daringness. Look, look at this success right here. Do you yeah. see this one? Yeah, I see that one. What's, when is that? When's that gonna Wait. be? Dude, that's in like two years. <laughs> so what I'm gonna say mm -hmm. is that your life is gonna get really daring and adventurous. In two years. In two years. And you're gonna have one big successful thing and then lots of little small successful things. I like this reading from you. Yeah, I'm doing a really good job I so far. pay double. Okay, so, great. Next line. The headline. Okay. 
Uh, this gives the values of the mental state and capabilities, <laughs> one's outlook and inner, inner state. Okay. Now there's some things on here. If it's a badly formed one, it means there's mental deficiencies. Okay, there's a giant break in yours. What does that mean? Well, I'll tell you. If it's badly formed, it means you have mental deficiencies. I have mental deficiencies. <laughs> this is going so well. <laughs> it's sloping. Okay, sloping means imaginative. I'm imaginative. There you go. You are you are imaginative. I am. Okay, let's look at the timeline on this and see what that big break is. Breaks. What does it say? Death? What? <laughs> it <laughs> does not. It does, but it obviously doesn't mean your own. <laughs> it just means there is death. And not that far off. <laughs> it really isn't. It's like, that, that's gonna be like late 40s. Okay, let's look up, let's just, minute, we're just gonna look minute. it up a break. Who's dying? Okay, all right. It's hold gotta on. be a big death. That's not, that's all I've got on this one. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll solve it. We're not, no one's dying. What if it's me? Come <laughs> on. Oh no. <laughs> Inconsistent thinking okay. or nervous or mental exhaustion. You have a nervous breakdown. I love your ring. Thank you. <laughs> and and now that now that I'm I'm not calling it death, I'm gonna actually move the timeline up because it was at like it was probably 40 and not late 40. <laughs> okay, that's that could be a triangle. Um, triangles, it's a positive influence. So so it could be, it could be not that you have a mental breakdown. Suddenly you have increased brain power on this one because there's a positive influence and you go on this path instead. Do I join the X-Men and get powers? That might be it. <gasps> or Scientology. <laughs> okay. All right. I think I've gleaned all I can glean. That's your headline. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But I did. When would this be? I'm going to say because I did, was on a different kind of life path before I decided to go and, you know. Like oh, I was yeah. join the Marines and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. It's very straight. So I'm not creative. This indicates an individual who is realistic and down to earth, unimaginative, <laughs> materialistic, logical, good organizational skills. No, you do great with organization. Just not with my house. At, or having a strong attention to detail. <laughs> yeah, that's all yeah, me. Yeah, that's all that's you. All that's me. all you. Okay, that's okay. That's all me. I'm saying it's fort. It's not strongly fort, but it's fort. It's fort. If the line ends with a strong fork, it's called a writer's fork or a lawyer's fork. Welcome. Do you want your paw read? What does this say? If your headline is fort, this is called the writer's fork or a lawyer's fork. This person enjoys debate and can see <laughs> both sides of an issue. This indicates great imagination and someone who uses their psychic powers and writing and speaking abilities throughout life. Mm -hmm. That's so you. All right, next, next line. line. <laughs> career line. It is a line that stretches from the wrist to the middle finger and it reflects one's fortune or career. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be this one. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it just kind of weird things. You got like multiple careers going on here. It's well, that makes sense, and yeah. Broken, and it's also associated with your mental breakdown. <gasps> yeah, what, what's, what's going on? Let's see if there's the a timeline. timeline. Yeah, <laughs> we need a timeline on this shit. <laughs> 20s is like here. Okay. And then you quit Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You started bartending. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, you, and then the mental and then breakdown. Else, and then the mental breakdown is from the show and then it fades. <laughs> So this whole mental or magical powers situation yeah. is connected to the current career. Yeah. So maybe that means everything's gonna work out <laughs> in this current career. Mm -hmm. Maybe this was the first time we had the YouTube channel. Uh huh. This is the second time we had the YouTube channel. It's possible. I don't know what this first one was. I'm gonna go with school. Okay. Okay. And um, you'll have Winchester in your future. Winchester will he always. <laughs> <laughs> so the fate line is um, how difficult your life is going to be. Oh. Like how, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that it, you're gonna have a hard life. It means that your um, things are not, don't come, you, you have to work for the things you yeah. get versus them just being just handed, handed to you. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, so what we got here? You got, you got, um, you got no fate until you're like 40. <laughs> I know, it's like, it's so yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, this is like when you were, in your 20s, if you were like not sure, you had that career change and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you were gonna go mm -hmm, in the military mm -hmm, and stuff, and mm -hmm. now you're, and then you didn't. Mm -hmm, so now, and then mm -hmm. you got put on this path. Yeah, you got a lot of like, little lines crossing over it. What does that mean? 
If you have a short fate line or no fate line, it means you feel free to take a break in the middle of any job and redirect your focus and energy to something completely different at any time. Next thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your career choices are made by chance and help from others. Adventure and exploration are important values. The challenge for this person is to get in touch with her, her own sense of purpose and not allow chance and others to direct the course of your life. Yeah, good luck to that. Yeah. <laughs> Let emotions and affairs of the heart interfere with their career and completion of tasks. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't schedule things past Justin getting home. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that, this is, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that, that's, that's that. I don't have a problem with that. No, 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 that's definitely you. That's I don't have a problem you. with that. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely you. Ruled by relationship yeah. and chance. You started out not knowing what you were going to do, and you hopped on this current fate line that you're on, but you let... You let all the romantic was, stuff. I just ride. Huh? Just and you've just been ride. riding, which yeah. is why it's kind of quick, I think. Yeah. You just you're along for the ride. Yeah, but ride. the good news is that it's there. Yeah. So. When's this? That what is. What year is my crooked past? Yeah, it's already passed. Is that Justin? Probably. <laughs> is it you? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that's probably me. That's, that's, I did that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry about that crooked. That's me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of knocked you onto this course. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, next one would be, I need the book. Book. Okay, health line. Okay. It goes without saying that the health line of the palm reading is associated with the health conditions of the person. Winchester, that is a wrong place for your tail. <laughs> <laughs> I want to Winchester's on my palm. I think we just figured out what this episode's really about. All right. <laughs> It's fine. You can you stay, stay there. right there. Just stop moving. <laughs> if the health line is very short or is composed of many short lines, it is also an indication of ill health. You are weak and sick in your life. <laughs> no, but I think they look like very minor. Minor like sicknesses. Yeah. This is like, mm. this is like, mm, I got bald patch. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like, they just got little things wrong. <laughs> yeah. But there's something about like the triangle it creates with your head. <laughs> Don't worry, Winchester, we're not using that camera. <laughs> Didn't need that at all. At least he's quiet. <laughs> but there right. are lots of little lines. Lots of little lines. I think, I think you're, you're, you always have a cold. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, you don't react well to certain foods. Like, That's you know, super true. You so he's like, it's not super easy, but like, not, you know. It's not terrible. Could be worse. You yeah. could have a Winchester. <laughs> have a Winchester. <laughs> so your health line, I'm saying this is broken. Okay, a broken one is a broken line shows that the function of the digestive system is declining. <laughs> so um, you need to get some but that, Activia. Activia, oh, I became lactose intolerant. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> that is a very strong health line yeah. like right there. Health poor. Health, all the things. <laughs> Now we're on to the heart line. Okay, okay. This describes the course taken by the heart and emotions, love, and disposition. Your heart line is crazy deep. Where it originates, you do not feel a strong need for love or commitment. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think it's C to B. C to B, what's B? Warm and loving. I am. <laughs> this oh. one counts this way, so this is your youth. That's it's my all youth. Freaking crazy. This is when you were boy crazy. Oh yeah, I was so boy crazy. Yeah, right How here you're at then? twenty. This is this is like ten to twenty to here. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was definitely boy crazy. Yeah, then. and then this goes. And then it stopped. All the way to seventy. You're gonna be together forever. Forever? Mm -hmm. Forever. Right. Forever. Forty-five-ish. I don't know what's Ooh. happened. Where that line kind of does a little. little it little. breaks a little bit. Your heart line. You have a heart attack. <laughs> What? You have a heart attack. That's what it means. An island. Really? An island is a heart attack. What? Wait. When is your? When do you have your mental breakdown? Is it about the same it's time? About the same time. Maybe it's not a mental breakdown. Maybe, Maybe it's, it's a, a heart, heart attack. attack. That chain. Oh, you know what? Sorry. I was like, I was like, I kind of feel like chain, but then when you look at it, it's not really. Yeah. Uh, chain is um, heart disease. So <laughs> it could be a little, you know. Got a little heart little, attack, little and heart. then you just gotta, you know, babysit it after that. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, you kind of end in the same spot. The what good. in the forties? Well, like a little, like, see how this line, like, see that? Is that a threesome? <laughs> you, yeah. You, there's a threesome right there. No, no, no. Is that no, a look. heart condition? This like, is my bad a, heart. 
Yeah. Well, like it's like the line technically stops right there and starts here and then finishes out. Wait, is that broken? Or I is don't that... know. Kind of, yeah. Bereavel. Oh, somebody dies. Someone's oh, going to die. It's Justin. There's great There's sorrow great... in your heart coming up. Thanks. That's great. <laughs> really. It might be Winchester. Oh. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's about 50. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Ten more years. Yep. Ten more. I got Justin for ten more you years. Get ten more years of Justin. But why is this one? This one's crazy. I'm at the old folks' home. I'm yeah, having the time of the, my life. <laughs> yeah, you're in the, like the same spot too. And look how far it goes. That doesn't make sense. How old do I get? <laughs> well, you get. You are. You are living it up in that, that is, retirement home. I am popular at the retirement. You're very home. popular at the retirement home. Heart disease. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, that's definitely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's your heart disease. My right whole there. life. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it's like it's there. Going up. That was a. Uh, Giving, nurturing. Oh. I'm very giving and nurturing. That's no. Very okay, true. hold on. In, uh, early in the relationship, nurturers need to stay state say need to say clearly they are givers and that how much they want to give in a relationship. Then they must say that they expect what they expect in return. And the last step, they need to ask a partner if he or she is willing to give back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's pretty. You need to be more clear at the start of your relationship. So when you go to that old folks' home. And you're talking to all those old men mm -hmm. when she's 70. You need to be very clear up front and like tell them what you need and that you, you're a very codependent person and you do need lots of attention. Affection line. Okay. This relates to the number and duration of emotional entanglements in life. Oh. And that's just this little thing on the side. Mine's oh. really short. So you just got lots of marriages. Yeah, I've got like one big one and then three small. Yeah, then you're going to go and be a polygamist. Oh yeah, that's uh -huh. what this I one is. I see that polygamy. This is Brandon. Multiple husbands. That goes on for for a long time, but uh -huh. somewhere in the middle, of that you're gonna have a mental breakdown. Okay. Because mm -hmm. of your heart heart attack. Heart attack. Yeah, and maybe maybe you and and maybe maybe you have amnesia and you end up somehow in a polygamous relationship, and then Brandon finally saves you. <laughs> okay. Okay. And look, this crooked child line. That's Gizmo, right? There. That's Gizmo. <laughs> Oh, that and that. I have two. One, yeah. But they're one stronger than the other. That's probably Justin, the stronger mm -hmm. one. I wonder which direction it goes. It goes this way. So this is when you were younger, and this is when you're older. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is this big strong one. Yeah. That's Brandon. That's B. There you go. End points down. What's that mean? What does it? What, what does yours do? Uh, it slightly goes down. Partner dies first. Dang it! Mine goes up. There's no way Justin... Yeah, yours goes Wait, up. didn't we decide I died? Aren't you dying? Is that the heart oh, disease? Oh, I thought Justin was dying in his 50s. I might die in my 50s. Lines up from. Lines up from will be children. We got none of those. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe at some point we see a professional. Oh, yeah. And see what how good of a job we did. <laughs> But that's that's a video for a different that's day. That's a video for another day. Yeah, yeah. I think we should leave it here. Guys, Oh yeah. we learned a lot. Thank mm -hmm. you again to... Mike Chang. Yes, mm -hmm. for sending us this. This is really kind of cool. Uh, cool. All right, we're going to drop you guys off here, and we're going to continue on our fate lines. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm Tara. To the next adventure. I'm Natalie. And this was Natalie and Tara Tara Stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, so that you always know what's coming out, and we'll catch up on this one. Mm -hmm. Stick around and find yeah. out what the next adventure is on our fate line. <laughs>